Street Fighter VI, Guilty Gear Strive, and The King of Fighters XV have ushered in a new wave of fighting games, and titles like Tekken 8, Mortal Kombat 1, and Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising all look to take the fighting game genre into new heights. However, there's no crossover versus title in the mix. There's plenty of guest characters in fighting games, but no versus titles. Multiverses doesn't count. Well, there is one in development, one that's been in development since 2010, and that title is Tekken Cross Street Fighter. It's been in development for 13 years. It's the Final Fantasy vs. 13 of the fighting game community. At the time of making this vid, the game hasn't been cancelled, but nothing has been seen of the game other than some interview mentions here and there. So what's the story behind the Cross franchise, and why haven't we seen Tekken Cross Street Fighter after all these years? Well, let's take a look. At San Diego Comic Con 2010, Namco and Capcom would announce that their flagship fighting game titles would collide in two titles. Capcom would make Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Namco would make Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Capcom's title was the first to be released in early 2012. The development was rough to say the least. The fees to use the Tekken characters was expensive, and someone at Capcom had the bright idea to outsource the CGI trailers to animation studio Polygon Pictures, complete with licensed music from artists like Rise Against and Hollywood Undead, and they didn't even use the song where Jeffree Star sings about sucking a cock. Shut the fuck up, you want me? Bitches get mad that I swallow more cum than they can. You wanna give me a hand, cause I'll do your dad. Capcom also produced the reality show thing called Cross Assault, which was fun, cringe, but ultimately a waste of money. I hope Nerd Josh enjoyed his 25k. Capcom tried to recoup the cost of development with the gem system because of course a competitive fighting game needed microtransactions that affected gameplay. Additionally, Capcom hid 12 complete characters behind a DLC paywall because we can't have nice things. Street Fighter Cross Tekken released in March 2012 to mixed reception and middling sales. I played the game at launch and it was pretty... meh? The gameplay had some fun ideas, but the meta quickly evolved into defensive play and timeouts. Many of the Tekken side felt really underpowered, and the game looked like a Street Fighter 4 spin-off from the outside, and a cheap one at that with this really weird graphics filter. Perhaps the biggest failing of the game was that it didn't do anything to get Tekken players into 2D fighting games. I will never forget Rip playing Cross Tekken on Cross Assault and it being a painful experience. The competitive scene quickly died off due to how boring the game was to play and EVO that year being a team event, which many players didn't want. Even with a massive rebalance to the title in 2013, couldn't save the game from being Discord Fighter status. Ultimately, the suits at Capcom had far too high sales expectations for Cross Tekken that it failed to deliver on. The legacy of Street Fighter Cross Tekken these days is that it had some fun ideas, but the greedy DLC practices overshadowed whatever merits the game had. At the very least, Capcom salvaged the characters and stages from Cross Tekken and put them into Ultra Street Fighter 4. If you've noticed, Capcom hasn't made a proper versus game since 2017 with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I can't believe I'm talking about Marvel Infinite in 2023. Uh, who wants a beverage? <sighs> both Marvel Infinite and Cross Tekken had similar development issues, and both titles might have scared Capcom away from doing another versus game or even having guest characters in their games, seeing as Street Fighter V didn't have any non-Capcom characters join the roster. That's just speculation on my part though. And that's the brief story of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Capcom fulfilled their end of the deal, so what's the holdup on Namco's side? Oh my god, this guy's going straight to- LOOK AT THIS SHIT! WHAT IS THIS?! You're a sack of shit, fuck this guy. You wanna mess around, gay porn? Alright, here we go! Since 2010, the only content that was shown for the Namco developed Tekken Cross Street Fighter was the logo, some key R Ryu and Jean, and Tekken series producer Katsuhiro Harada uploading some footage of Heihachi and Nina using moves from Street Fighter characters. After Tekken Tag Tournament 2 released in late 2012, I was expecting the next Namco fighter to be Cross Tekken, but they kept making fighting games, and none of them being Cross Street Fighter. Hell, Tekken and Street Fighter would collide multiple times since 2012, with some of those games being developed by or published by Namco. Something did happen behind the scenes, as Akuma debuted in Tekken 7 as a guest character. I took it as a sign of what could come for Cross Street Fighter. And while I'm not much of a Tekken player, I have to say that Akuma looked and played awesome in Tekken 7. 
Namco certainly did him better than Capcom did in 5, yeesh! As the years rolled on, Tekken 7 kept getting more updates and characters and sold very well. I was hoping that Cross Street Fighter would get some news, but Namco would just play it safe with Tekken 8, so I guess I'll have to wait a bit longer for Cross Street Fighter. Rumors circulated that Tekken Cross Street Fighter had been cancelled, but san eventually cleared the air. The game hasn't been cancelled, development halted on the title in 2016 at around 30% completion. Not cancelled, halted. Harada-san even admitted that he doesn't know the state of the title, and more than likely it isn't his call to get to work on the game. So it's still on the table, but not a priority for Namco. So why is it stuck in limbo? There could be a few reasons behind it. For one, a crowded market. This is something that Namco mentioned. Fighting game players tend to only play one or two games at a time. It takes time to get good at one fighting game, let alone multiple. And players tend to flock to games that have large player bases, fun gameplay, developer support, and or brand recognition. If a game doesn't have a combination of those things, that's when a game dies. There's a reason why the phrase Discord Fighter exists. Sorry DNF Duel, I'll pour one out for you, but keep the Striker and Spectre art coming. This is an issue with online based games in general. If games can't gain and keep players, then the game fades away and becomes Discord status at best, totally unplayable at worst. Street Fighter and Tekken fans already have their respective games to enjoy, and trying to get them to play another game, even if it has both franchises in it, is a tall order. 2. The bad reputation of Cross Tekken To this day, if you bring up the game, you'll get discussions about the on-disc DLC fiasco or the gem system. Rarely will anybody talk about the good merits of the game. 3. Appealing to Street Fighter fans An issue with Cross Tekken was that the title just did not appeal to Tekken or 3D game fans from a gameplay perspective. Essentially, half of the market for the game just wasn't into it. Compare this to Capcom vs SNK2, which blended Capcom and SNK gameplay beautifully and made a fighting game that is still being played. Akuma in Tekken 7 was a taste of how a Street Fighter character could play in a Tekken game, but it didn't get much farther than Akuma and SNK's own Geese Howard joining 7. And while I'm not a hardcore Tekken player, most players I know complained about how OP Geese and Akuma were in 7 thanks to the mechanics they brought in from their respective games. That said, I would love to see how Namco makes a 3D fighter appeal to 2D fighting game fans. 4. Change in Management The producer behind Street Fighter 4, 5, and Cross Tekken was Yoshinori Ono. Him and Harada-san had a rivalry during the 7th generation. Unfortunately, Ono-san left Capcom in 2020 for a variety of reasons. Probably these. The new heads at Capcom's fighting game division didn't have anything to do with the Cross Tekken project, and probably don't have much reason to get Namco to fulfill their end of the prophecy. So that's probably why Tekken Cross Street Fighter has been in limbo. So why hasn't Namco said anything official about the game? My only theory is that it's a contractual project. You hear this all the time, like when Disney bought Star Wars from George Lucas, a part of the contract was releasing Strange Magic, a movie that absolutely none of you saw. Oh, I think I got one of your antenna. So I assume that if Namco were to formally cancel the game, they would owe Capcom some money. Between that, the tepid reception to Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and both series doing better than ever, and there not being a need for a crossover, and no one really having a direction for the game, Tekken Cross Street Fighter just stalled out and it's existing in purgatory. Who knows, maybe someone at Namco is trying to get the game made, but I wouldn't hold my breath on it. This isn't bad. It's not that good, but it's not that bad. It's so-so. Yeah, more or less. And that's my look at Tekken Cross Street Fighter finished, and I hope you enjoyed it. At this point, I really don't see Tekken Cross Street Fighter ever coming out. Like, the only scenario where I can really think the game would come out in is if Tekken 8 were to come out and that game really underperform. And even if that was the case, I would imagine Namco would wait until Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 hype dies down a bit. But that probably wouldn't be until like 2025 at the absolute earliest. But again, who knows? Maybe we'll see this game one day, but uh, I'm not really expecting much. But uh, eh, you never know. And with that, we end the video. And uh, leave me some comments. Do you want to see Tekken Cross Street Fighter? And who are your favorite Tekken and Street Fighter characters? Let me know down there in the comments. And while you're down there commenting, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell as well for notifications on future videos. And of course, I'm on the social media, all at Zmangs, Twitter, Instagram, Threads, you know what it is. Hit me up there, and we'll see you in the next video. Later, everybody. Take care.